What's up everyone, Chris Record here and welcome back to the 90 day Ecom challenge. Today is day 12 and we are gonna cover Ecom graphic design. We're literally gonna cover how to be able to design graphics for your store, how to be able to design graphics for your um, Facebook advertising, for your Pinterest, for your Instagram, whatever it might be, we are going to cover um, graphic design. And so we're gonna do it uh, really covering today some free programs and then in the future we may dive in and cover some paid programs as well. So let's go, to, let's go ahead and get started, okay? Today we are going to cover some free graphic design programs and show how to create your own graphics so that you can save money when you are first starting with Shopify. Okay. Who's excited about saving money and being able to do things for free? Who's excited about saving money and free? Let's jump on over here to the, to the 90 day Ecom challenge. Let's make sure that you guys can hear me and that you can um, hear me and you can see my screen. Okay. looks like a bunch of you jumping on right now. And uh, today's going to be good. Today's going to be very, very beginner friendly. So thanks everybody for coming on. And it looks like people are jumping on right now as we speak. Okay, so uh, today is going to be very beginner friendly. Okay, even if you have zero graphic design experience, um, you should be able to learn this. Okay, um, our main focus will be on canva.com. This is gonna be our main focus. It's gonna be a site called canva.com. Um, it's free to set up an account. Okay, so let's kind of dive in. Let's put the focus on Canva and let's first of all walk through and kind of explain what Canva is and how you can use it. So you can come on over here, click in to go see Canva. Make a space there, okay. So when you first go into Canva, um, you're gonna to wanna to create an account. You should be able to log in and just create a free account with your Facebook credentials. That's probably one of the best ways to do it. Just go in with your Facebook credentials and create a free account. Okay, now you have, um, you know, you got, you can create folders, you can add a new folder, you can create folders of different types of designs. And so if you wanna go in here and create a folder for let's say your Shopify designs, and then you wanna create another folder for your like affiliate designs or something like that, you can do so. So you can have a couple of folders and you can start to organize your content, whatever it might be that you're doing. Um, and then Canva makes money by having a, um, by having free templates and then by having paid templates. So Canva does make money and there is ways to be able to upgrade um, on Canva, okay? So if you kind of go, if you wanted to go to Google and you go here and type in Canva pricing, okay? Um, they've got, you know, a pricing page about Canva pricing. You can choose the right Canva plan. Now, this is the Canva plan that most of you should be on right here. And by the way, Canva is short for like Canvas. That's kind of where the name comes from. And this one's the free forever. That's a simple drag and drop editor. This is the plan that I currently have. Um, but then they also have Canva per work. This is $12.95 per month. And it's got like a bunch of extra things that you can do. Uh, instead of those two folders, you can have unlimited. Um, you can have up to 50 team members sharing a thing together. So you can have like outsourcers in there and stuff like that. Unlimited storage. Um, access to over 8,000 templates. That's pretty cool. You have that too. Upload your own images, access to millions of photos for $1 each. But then it also has all this stuff here. You can resize your designs, you can upload custom fonts, you can select color palettes, save templates for your team, organize uh, photos and easily find your designs, stuff like that. But really, most of you should use this one right here, okay? The Canva free plan, okay? So that's pretty cool right there. Um, and then over here, they've got the Canva marketplace. Now the Canva marketplace, is has a bunch of templates okay so they have the the can i think you just go to canva.com slash templates let me see canva that's where i used to be able to go there canva.com slash templates canva.com slash templates yeah so it does go there so let me put that link right in there um access thousands of pre-done templates at canva.com slash templates. <laughs> okay, 
So, um, and that's exactly what you want to do. What you want to do is you want to go on and you want to basically um, set up an account at Canva and then start looking through templates, okay? So you go in here, these templates, you can search. They've got thousands of them in here and you can kind of see like done for you things that are already created. So kind of go, take a second and look through all the existing ones they have, you know, and, and, and kind of see like the different things, banners, um, infographics that are created already, um, presentation, social media graphics, you know, all kinds of stuff. So you can click on a category like social graphics and then you can see these. Facebook covers, YouTube channel art, YouTube thumbnails, Facebook apps, Facebook posts, Instagram posts. So you basically have like everything you need here. So if you wanted an Instagram post, you would click on Instagram post and look at all these templates that they have right here to basically, they're already done in squares, just like Instagram, they're done in squares. And you can go through here and you could basically find something that's like a good fit. Now again, some of these are gonna be free, some of these are gonna cost um, money. But really what's costing money is just the image. Okay, so like, let me give you an example. Um, let's take this one right here. Happy birthday, whatever this one says right here. Okay, so it kind of shows you a little bit about it. This Nicole Williams template, da 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 da. Let's say you wanna edit this template. Okay, you're gonna click in here and it's gonna bring up that template and you're gonna have the chance to be able to edit it. Okay, this template um, is gonna be free. If it's a paid template, it's gonna have a big Canva watermark on it. Okay, so do you see this like little icon here over these templates? This says free, and this one here has a dollar sign right there. So if I click this template, let's replace it. Okay, do you see how it has this Canva watermark? So it says Canva in the middle and it's a watermark. That means that this is a paid picture. So what Canva's doing is they're throwing in their own stock images and you would have to pay a dollar to use that exact same figure. So when you see these templates, if you're planning on swapping out your own picture, then it doesn't really matter. Okay, like, like this one here. Um, see how this has the Canva watermark over it? Well, if you're planning on using your own picture anyways, then all you have to do is come in here. You can use the same template. Come in here and click on that and then just delete it. Okay, you can delete it right there. And then it's just got a little placeholder that you can put anything you want over. Okay, so now this template is, is that was the only part of the template that's gonna cost money, is that Canva watermark. So now I can download and I can use this template. I can basically create any graphic I want. So if I wanted to, I can go create any, any single graphic I want. Let's um, put this one in here or whatever, just like that. See how simple that was? I just created my own graphic with, uh, with an orange car on it instead of that one, you know? So, and you could, you know, you can go in there and you could just, boom, create it like that. I could have one right there with my Shopify stuff on it. Um, you know, look at how simple it is to, see how simple it is to create graphics here inside a template. You just upload your own images, go over here to upload. You have all your own images in your little uploads category and you could literally just click on them and then they'll appear there. And then if there's an element like that, that one graphic that was back there, let's delete these really quick. Delete image. Okay, you see how there's that graphic element right there, that little, that's an element. Um, you just basically drag this onto it and it pops it in there, okay? And then you can move it around all you want and do whatever you want with it, okay? So you just drag it in there and drop it in there. So if I wanted to put a picture of, let's say this, I just click on my custom image and drag it in there. And now it's right there. So a lot of these templates are gonna have, um, you go to layouts and they're gonna, whether they're free or whether they're, they're money. So see, this one's free. Let's replace it. Since this one's free, I can use this template and this picture. I can basically just come in here and change the text. You know, whatever I want this to say. See, I could just change that text, whatever I want this to say. I just click in there, no coding needed. Now, if I want it to be, look a little bit better, maybe I'll drag that to the left and maybe I'll drag this to the right, okay? Whatever I want this to say. And I could drag, now let's say that, that I wish that didn't wrap. I wish that all fit on one line. Well, I can basically highlight that and I can make it a smaller font. 88 and now look at that and I say oh well it's kind of blurring to the edges a little bit okay well I can maybe make it a little bit smaller like this then so it's not right on the edges and now see how it's wrapping okay maybe I can make it a little bit smaller so instead of 88 let's go to 80 see what I'm saying and let's say I want that up higher I just click and drag and drop it up higher I want it there in the middle you can just click and drag let's say I want it to be curved I can curve it like that so you have full um, kind of creative freedom there if I want it to be a different color this color up here, I could just change this color to be orange. And now it's orange. 
So it's really kind of cool. Let's say I want it to be a different font. I could just change Taroki to, let's say, Sunday. And then it's Sunday. And if I want to change Sunday to Sniglet, then it's Sniglet. And I want to change Sniglet to whatever these fonts are. I could just go in here and have fun with this. You know, so I can go in there and I can choose a font. Once you get the font that you want, you kind of look in and you kind of go, okay, what, what font do I want? Okay, I like that font. And then you can kind of decide, do you want it bold or regular? Do you want it italicized? What do you want to do with it? Do you want it to be like that, all uppercase or not? Do you want it to be centered or aligned to the left, aligned to the right, right there? Um, and then do you want it, you know, where do you want it? You can kind of move it around. And you can kind of say, okay, I want to see what happens if it looks a little bit bigger. You know, you can kind of make it a little bit bigger. You can kind of organize it. You can, um, if you want this line to drop down here, you can do it like that. You can go and choose a, choose a text link, press enter, and drop it down there. So there's a lot of freedom of what you can do here with Canva, okay? It's, a, it's very simple. Um, you kind of do whatever you want to do with it. And um, once you're done, you just go here to download. You can download this to a PNG. You can press download, just like that, and then you can download it to your desktop. Okay, so you create these graphics, and then once you create them, they're essentially, um, you know, you can kind of just save as you go, okay? So you can go down here, and you got, you know, this file right here. You can save it. It's automatically saving in the background. Last saved um, a few seconds ago. So you could save it, kind of keep saving. All changes saved. So it kind of saves as you go. That's what this file menu is. You can make a copy of it. Um, you can undo changes that you've made. You can also add in more elements. Let's say that I want to do more to this picture. I can go over here to elements and I can start adding things like maybe I want to add some icons and I can go through and I can see if there's like some sort of, you know, there's just hundreds and hundreds of icons. You'll notice some of them are free. All it has to do is say free and that means that it's a free icon that you can use. So you can kind of go through and look at the, you can search a million images or you can go through and like look at the different types of icons. So you see these are like, maybe you just want to use like this fork and a spoon icon. There's a fork and a spoon icon just like that. And then maybe I want to make that color the same color as, as my font up there, you know? So I can basically take this and like put it like that. I could take this and maybe put it like that. Take it up here and maybe make it, maybe I can make it a bold, something like that. I can move this around. There's a lot of stuff that I can do there. I can add different text to it. Let's say that I want to um, add some new text. I can add new text right there. Um, instead of it being black, I can make that text, you know, yellow or make it orange. And then instead of that text, I can make the whole thing orange if I wanted. Orange. You could just add new text to it. And see, then I got this new text right here. Medieval. You know, so let's, uh, let's, if I want to delete something, I click on this old text, click on it, and press the trash can button, and it's gone. Now I got this new text right here. Okay, so let's play with this new text. I can drag it, make it a little bit bigger, like that. And I can basically put it like right there. I could drag, uh, get this little, uh, you know, this little element right here, and I can maybe make the logo together. Okay, so let's see. Let's, instead of medieval, let's, cha let's change this to, you know, um, ice cream recipe. Ice cream recipe. Okay? There's ice cream recipe, and I could drag and drop this right there if I want to, and maybe even make it like a little bit smaller. And I got myself a little logo, okay? I got myself like a nice little fun thing, right? And if I, want to, if I wanted to even more, now, okay, here's something cool to show you. These are all elements. So on this page, I've got this whole picture is one, one thing. I've got this font up here, this, this text, that's another thing, and then I've got this little icon here, that's another thing. But see, look, I can't get to the icon. Why can't I get to this icon and edit it? Every time I click on this, it wants to click on recipe. That's because these have layers, okay? So all you do is you basically can go here. When you click on any one of these things, okay, like this thing right here, it says arrange. So if you click arrange, I can move it backwards or forwards. Right now, it's all the way in the front. So if I move it backwards, just one, and click off. Now when I go here and click on that, I can, I can actually edit that because now that's in front. Now this layer right here of range is all the way in the front. I can't bring it to the front anymore. So if you're ever having trouble getting to something, that's probably because something is in front of it. So right now, this item here is the one that's in front. Just behind that is this, and just behind that is this. If I wanted to bring this image to the front, I press the range forward, forward. Now look, I brought it all the way to the front. It covers up. This image now covers up all the text behind it. 
So you can basically, you can understand right here, I can work on this layer. I can get this layer just right or whatever, kind of work on it. Um, and then I can arrange and I can send it to the back, to the back, all the way to the back. And see, now it's in the back and these things are now in front. So you can basically take any one thing and move it to the front or move it to the back. So now this is in the front, that's right behind it, and that's right behind it. So now I can take this, let's say, and let's copy it. And I made a second one, and maybe I can go drag it over here. Now you'll notice when I drag it, these, these, these purple like marks line, uh, show up when I drag it up a little bit. That helps me line things up. So that's how I'm able to get them nice and neat. Ice cream recipe, it's got, this, it's got the spoon and the fork, the spoon and the fork, and it's got the word recipe, just like that. I got the little icons in there. Ice cream recipe, very nice and neat, very simple, and I've got this. Now, let's click on this image. What if I want this image brighter or darker or whatever it is? You've also got this little grid, transparency grid here. You can actually scroll and you can actually make it like completely transparent or completely dark. You know, so you can kind of play with it. Maybe you want it to look like a little bit more like that. You can kind of play with it a little bit if you want. And then there's also filters. So you can click on the, when you're, and as long as you clicked on the image, you go over here to filter. And there will be like different types of filters you could choose, kind of like Instagram. So you could give it like a Cali touch, a drama touch, edge, epic. So you go through and see if any of these look really good with your image. Whatever image you have, you might want to make something, let's say like black and white. Or you might want to make something, you know, grayscale like that. Um, and so you just kind of try to find something that might be like look kind of cool. Okay, like maybe you like this edge, maybe this just fits your, your brand a little bit more. Okay, um, or you can just go back to normal. And then you could always go to intensity. You can brighten it up or darken it. Brighten or darken, okay, and it gives you like the thing right in the middle. And then you can also adjust the contrast on it like that. So you can kind of go in and see if there's anything that might look good for it. And then you have your advanced options right there. And this helps you get even more. So if you wanted to create like a circle around, like a faded circle around the, the edges of it, and you can kind of look, look, see what it looks like in the background. So maybe you want to get a little bit of a filter. You can kind of just drag these things left and right and kind of see what they look like, and kind of see if it makes something pop a little bit. Now you don't want to sit there and work on your image all day long, but maybe you want to blur something. Like look at that. Maybe, maybe, you're, showing like, like maybe you're showing like something in your Shopify store and you want to blur out a piece of it. That's how you can like blur out like a piece. And you, let's see what it looks like. Let's see if we kind of blur it a little bit and you click off. You can kind of see like ice cream recipe now pops and that's like a blurred ice cream recipe. So you have the ability to be able to go into advanced options and be able to kind of make things anything you want. We're all right here in Canva and this is all for free, okay? You also have the ability to crop something. So maybe if you just, if, 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 it, if it had like a little piece of like something back here you didn't want or whatever, you have the ability to crop it. And then you have the ability to crop it just by kind of deciding where you want that crop line to be. Um, what you want to do with the image, like where do you want to crop it here? Like do you want, do you want to show mostly the ice cream? Maybe something like that, and then check. And now look, it's mostly the bowl of ice cream instead of the cones. So I just kind of made it all about the ice cream and less about the cones. Or I can crop and I can make it more about the cones and press check, and less about the ice cream. Or I can say, you know, I liked it where it was, kind of like a little bit about the ice cream and a little bit about the cones. So I can get it just kind of right, check, and see I've got some of the cones, some of the ice cream in there. And I go, oh man, I wish it was a little bit higher. I just go crop and I just drag it a little bit higher, just like that. Okay, so that's kind of how you can work with these graphics. So again, you could add text, you could add different elements, there's tons of cool stuff, there's illustrations that you can add, um, you know, tons of them, you know. And then there's also search. Now, some of the stuff's gonna cost money though when you start searching, you're gonna notice a lot of things cost money. Okay, so you can search like ice cream, you're gonna see free, 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 but then you're also gonna know some things cost money. So this image that we're using right here is a free ice cream image. We could also use, you know, this other ice cream image or maybe this one. So we could actually use like that ice cream image instead of the other one. You see how simple that was? I just clicked it, grabbed it. And then if we're gonna use this ice cream image, then we, we might wanna drag this up right here. Drag this up, let's say to right there. And then drag this one up right here. And now we have ice cream recipe for that. See how we just changed it up using another one of the free images. And if you have an image, you could always upload it and use that image. So you can use your own images uh, or you can use their own. So it's important that you understand these basics before we get into e-com, and then you'll notice there's also paid ones. See, this one's a dollar, but you don't want to use any of the paid ones um, if you can avoid it, <laughs> you know? Like, maybe there's the perfect one, you just got to use it, okay, whatever. Sometimes it is what it is. So now, how does this work with, um, how does this work with e -com? Let's kind of transition, okay? So let's go back to our document over here. Okay, access thousands, okay? So um, first, let's, 
give an overview of how Canva works. And this will be um, live on video. Okay, next, and that's what we just did right now. Next, let's talk about how to use it for e-commerce products. Then, let's talk about how to use it for e-commerce ads. Okay, so let's kind of go into this. First of all, are you guys enjoying this? Is this a good topic for today? I'd love to get in. Let me get some of your feedback here. Is this a good to topic for today? Are you guys, are you guys enjoying it? Um, hundreds and hundreds of you guys on there. That's pretty cool. Um, you guys enjoying this topic? This is just another skill to add to the, to add to the bucket. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's jump right into it. Okay, so now that we have an idea of how to be able to um, design things, once you have a working knowledge, and then of course it's auto save. See how this says unsaved changes? All I have to do is go here to uh, file save. Okay, now once things are saved, they're gonna show up on your, um, when you log in, they're gonna show up on, on your, all your designs page. I probably gotta refresh. And it's gonna show up here, save, save is generating preview. So it's, it's, it's not quite here yet, right? Um, it's generating the preview. Now when I, um, this is the one that I just created though. When I put the mouse over it, it says greeting photo, birthday, Instagram post. We wanna change that, okay? We wanna change this to ice cream recipe because that's what, we, that's what it is, right? A ice cream recipe. So you hover over the name and you're gonna go ahead and click edit and change this to ice cream recipe. This also gives you uh, the ability to be able to duplicate it or move it to the trash. So if you were just playing around with something, you could duplicate it or you can move it to the trash. Sometimes it takes a while to generate the, um, the preview and sometimes it comes in right away. See, there's another one over here generating a preview. I'm not sure what that is. But also I might wanna delete this one. So I can go here and I can move that to the trash. Okay, so I wanna keep like I have a clean thing with all the different ads that I do, stuff like that. Okay, so once you understand how to label and how to have them, anytime I want, I can go right back to it by clicking on that and I can go right back in here and begin editing again. It's gonna pull it right up, right up where I left off. Now, before we, get, before we dive too much into, um, there's one more thing I wanna show you before we dive too much into actually creating your e-com products. You might like this template, okay? You don't have to copy it a bunch over there. You can actually do it here. Watch this, there's a little duplicate button right here. Copy this page. See this, this thing? We can just go ahead and press copy. We got another one down here. And in this one, let's delete that last image we added. And let's go over here and let's type in ice cream. And let's search and let's find a different ice cream image. Let's do, um, let's do, which one are we using there? That's that, that one. Let's use this one. Whoops. Sorry, I'm going to go back down here to this one I want. Let's use this one and then drag it right in there. And I just, all I did is I moved it to the side and it realized it's supposed to be there. And this is ice cream recipe, but see how this is so far down? If you remember, you go to crop and you move it up a little bit. Let's move it up all the way and see what that looks like. Ice cream recipe. Okay, so see, now I got one version and now I got another version. So all you do is you hit this duplicate, just like this. Let's click on this image and let's delete it. Delete the image. Now there's an element there, so I'm gonna drag and drop another image there. Let's drag and drop this one. Okay, click that. And then all I gotta do is click and drag this. Click and just drag it just a little bit to the left and it'll automatically wanna, wanna place itself in there. And then I can click crop and see if it might be worth trying to like move this thing over a little bit. Check, and there it is. Ice cream recipe, okay? Um, and then I can press duplicate. And maybe on this one, instead of this font right here, maybe I want, maybe I like that, but I wanna change the font a little bit and go find another font like that. Okay, so what I did was I just went up here, clicked on it, clicked graduate, okay? So let's click on this right here, let's, let's go back, let's click graduate, and then let's take these like little templates here and let's move them to the side just a little bit. And now you got another one, okay? So it's pretty cool, right? There's lots of like really cool things that you can do. Now, there's even more cool things you could do. Check this out, let's go over here to elements and let's add a shape. Okay, do you see how this text is kind of being drowned out by that ice cream cone? Maybe I wanna do something like this. Let's add in this square shape, it's free. There's a square shape, okay? And let's go ahead and make it long 
Let's drag it all the way to the left, all the way to the right. You can even over drag it if you want. And then let's make it change the height just a little bit. Now I got like a little strip, right? And if I make this strip just, just big enough to cover over that text, now what I could do is I could take it and arrange it and let's move it back. Let's move it back again, back again. And look what I just did. I just made a black strip right there that made that more readable up there. And it cut, it cut off some of the ice cream, but it made it more readable, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, and that's the kind of stuff you could do. Now you can bring it forward. You can bring it backwards. So you can go and you can basically take any one of this. Let's take this text here and let's move it backwards behind the black strip. Okay. Let's take this little icon and let's move it, arrange it back behind the black strip. And let's move this one and move it back behind the black strip. Okay. Now we got that black strip again. Now we got this, just this black strip. We'll click on it. And we're going to click this little button up here to make it transparent. And look, I can make it all the way transparent, just a little bit, all the way, just a little bit. So now instead of a big black line, what if I make just a little black line like that? Transparency 32. And then let's arrange it and let's move it back again. Back, back, back. Now look what happens. Now you can barely tell that black line is there because it's transparent. You can see the ice cream through it now instead of covering it up. Okay? So you can really kind of go in here and you can kind of mess with things. In fact, if you really wanted to, you could go in there and take that whole entire uh, strip if you wanted to and make, make it the whole picture. Okay, maybe let's do that. Let's duplicate. Let's go down here and let's take this text. Let's move it back. Okay, and let's take this text and let's move it back. And let's take this text. Let's move it back. And then let's take this big picture and let's make sure that's all the way in the back. Okay. Okay. Now I just have this black bar right here and I can make it all the way light, all the way black. Well, let's make it all the way black and let's cover the whole photo this time. Let's cover the whole entire photo if I wanted to. And then let's see what happens if I make it a little bit transparent. Just enough where you can see the ice cream in the background, but still where it's dark. Like let's say 30. Okay. Now all we got to do is take that dark image and move it back. And look what we've done there. Now we've got it where this whole image is dark. See the one above it? The image is a little bit lighter and there's a dark square. The one above it, there's, there's the font with the ice cream code regular. The one below it, there's the font with a black transparent line behind it. And this one here, the whole entire image is transparent. So if you ever see images that are darked out, why would you want to do that? You might want to do that if you're making like an Instagram quote. If you wanted this to be an Instagram quote, you can make the image a little bit darker. And that allows you to maybe like, you know, write on this with a bunch of text. You could do those, those picture quotes that you see on Instagram all the time. Let's go, let's go, let's go look at one. Go to Google and you could do like Instagram success quote or something like that. Go to images. And like here's an example right off the bat. Do you see how this, this, this person here is kind of darked out in the background. They dark out this image so that you can put text on it and you can read the text. So if you, make, if you make the image dark and you make the text white, the text will pop off of it. Same thing here. Look, they made the image black and white in the background. They made it a little bit dark and then they made big white text. So all this kind of stuff you can do. And this stuff is going to come in handy for your e-com business. This is, this is just e-com 101. Everybody I know that's doing e-com does this kind of stuff. So like, for example, you can get, you can get quotes that have to do with your, with your niche or whatever it is you're in. And you have the ability now to be able to create these graphics on demand doing anything you want. Okay. So let's, let's show that. Let's look at an example. Um, let's, let's look at a niche. Let's look at some niches. Okay. Let's go in. You guys throw out, somebody throw out a niche that you're in. Let's get like two or three of your niches really quick. Throw out some niches. Put me on the spot right now um, for, put me on the spot and I'll, I'll do a couple of niches for you in real time right now. Okay. I'm going to refresh and I'm going to let you guys, um, Kind of think of some think of some niches. Dun, dun, dun. It's gonna catch up. I'm sure I'm on like a 30 second lag. Plus, you can only type so fast. Okay, Emilio says cats. Okay, there's cats. What else you got? Refresh it once more. What other niches you got? Fountain pens, country life, canvas art, pearl jewelry, fishing. Okay. So what do we have cats? Fishing, country life, and let's do one more. Um, look at all these. This is flying in right now. Yoga. Okay. I just picked up random, you guys. 
Okay, so let's look at some niches. Cats, fishing, country life, yoga. Okay, so let's do yoga quote. Okay. Um, okay, so you see, if you want to create your own images like this, okay, watch this. You cannot always control what goes on outside, but you can always control what goes on inside. Okay, so you got a yoga picture like this. Okay, so there's, um, first of all, there's lots of royalty-free sites, right? And I think Shopify on their blog um, even just came up with a list. Let's see, Shopify blog just, pr just promoted a list of, uh, of images that you, can, uh, that you can look at. They just gave you like a list of like all kinds of images. I forget where they're where their list of all the images was. Someone posted it in the group the other day. I was gonna to try to use theirs. Um, let's see, images, 22 awesome websites with stunning free stock images. Okay, all I went is I went to Shopify's blog and I typed in images. So like, you can always go to these sites like this. You know, here's Burst, free images for commercial use, Unsplash, all these sites, right? There's all these sites that you can use. So don't worry. I'm gonna just show you Google Images just for now, just to go real quick, but you could always go into any one of these sites and use like legit images if you're worried about um, copyright infringing and stuff like that. But for the time being, let's just do um, Google just to go fast. Okay, so let's do yoga pose, and maybe I'll put the word HD to try to see if, it's, if I can get a good image. Okay, so like here's a yoga pose right there. Okay, let's see if my computer's gonna let me go today. My computer fills up like every single day, so. <laughs> okay, it's, you, never, you never know if my computer's gonna allow it. If you guys follow me, you know, you know how crazy that gets. Okay, um, let's cut that one out. Let's go. Okay, let's go back to this Instagram post. Let's create a new one. Okay, and you're gonna go here to uploads. You're gonna upload your own image. Let's go ahead and upload this yoga post. Okay, there it is, it uploaded. A little green bar came and we're gonna go ahead and click on it. Okay, there it is, and I'm just gonna drag it. Oh, it's not letting me, let me get, delete this one. Trash. Delete image, okay. There you go. So I deleted the image, and now as soon as I dragged this one, it went onto that template. Now, she's a little bit to the left. Do you guys remember what to do? Do you remember how to crop this? You just go right up here to crop, and you're able to move things around how you want them. Okay, so you can move it around like that if you wanted. Okay, so let's go ahead and check and okay. Now you got it right in the middle, right? Now you, um, and there's, uh, there's even more that you can do. So you can, when you're cropping, not only can you do that, but you can also pull this um, down like that to the side, make it bigger. And I can actually put her like right there and press check. Okay, now she's flush to the bottom, okay? So here's a girl, girl doing a yoga pose, flush to the bottom, okay, if I wanted. Now, let's just go ahead and delete all this text. I'm gonna delete that, I'm going to delete that, I'm going to delete that, okay. So I've got a picture of a yoga pose. Now let's go back and let's look at that yoga quote. You cannot always control what goes on outside, but you can always control what goes on inside. Okay, so let's go over here to text, and let's look at these free little established things here. And you can basically see if there's some type of text that you might want. Now look at all these different things they have for free. You can do tons of different styles. You can do text that has colors. You can do black and white. There's just lots of different, first of all, I'm just showing you, there's lots and lots of different stuff you could do. So you can really get creative if you want. You can find, ooh, that would be perfect. So, you know, allow yourself to think a little bit. But to keep this very, very simple, let's just do the most basic. Let's, uh, let's do like a subheading right here, that length. And then let's go, let's just do that quote. You cannot always control what goes on outside, but you can always control what goes on inside. Okay, let's type that out. And let's make it, first of all, let's make it white so you can read it. Okay, let's go white. Okay, and let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's go like there. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. You cannot always control what goes on outside but you can always control what goes on inside. Okay, so there's your basic quote, and then you'll put like, I'll show you what to do in a second. But now you've gotta figure out how can you make this look good, okay? The way to make text look good on an image is a couple things. First, is the image dark enough you could read the text? Well, in this case it is. But if it wasn't, you would first, you'd click on the image and you would, you would wanna like maybe put like a dark layer over it, you know, like we talked about with the dark, 
we could put like a shape. You could always put like a square like this over it and make it a little bit more transparent. So you can kind of make it darker. So that's the regular. You can kind of make, see how you can make it a little bit darker if you want like that. So I might want to just like make it a little bit more dark to make this letters pop. And then again, I got to move it backwards, arrange it back so that this text is on front of it. Okay, so I made it a little bit darker. Now the next thing is how can I clean this up? Well, all you have to do is click on it and there's all these things up here to clean it up. The first thing I want to do is I want to do spacing. I want to put these words closer together so that I can try to fit them all underneath her pose because I don't want the words overlapping her body. So spacing, and let's go over here to line height and let's drag that like that a little bit. Make them a little bit closer. Okay, whatever you think is a good line height. Okay, perfect. Now I want to make sure I'm choosing, before you decide size, you want to get the font you want to work with. So if you like this Troki font, that's fine. If you don't like this font, you need to go through the list and you need to find a font that you like. And you might want all of your, you might want all of your um, quotes to be the same font. So you want to create a template. You want to go through and maybe take one time to find a, to, to find a font that you like. Okay, so this Ar Archivo Black. Now let's go and let's look at some other ones. Let's go to Narrow. Let's look at what that is. And then you all, and maybe you're like, okay, I don't want it to, I want to leave a little bit of room on the side so it's not too busy. And if that's the font that you like right there, you can drag this down a little bit. Once you find the font that you like, if that's what you're going to stick with, then you got to decide, okay, I've got my font. Now, do I want it to be bold or not? So there's unbold, there's bold. There's unbold, there's bold. Okay, let's say I want it to be unbold. Do I want it to be italicized or not? Italicized or not? Okay. Um, you know, do, what size do I want it? And you can go in here and you could actually just type in a size too. You could do size 50 and press enter. Okay, so you can kind of do like any size you want, and if you, if you go, hey, I, don't, I actually think I want this a little bit bigger now, so you're like, okay, I want it to be able to go that far, that far. You just kind of make your template, and you go, you know, I want that to be bigger. I don't think people can read it, so see how, see how big you want to go. You want to stay all, all below that, and then also if you're like, hey, I, I, I just don't like this little on inside. I think it would be better if it ended with what goes, what goes on inside, or control what goes on inside. Just There you go. Controls what goes on inside, but you can always, okay? And now we just made it a little bit better. You cannot always control what goes on outside, but you can always control what goes on inside. And now we have a nice little quote like this. Now, let's say your store had a yoga logo, okay? Let's, let's just go look at one, yoga, yoga logo. Okay, let's just go find one real quick. Um, let's see, let's see if any one of these we could use. You're gonna want your logo to be transparent. These are all, um, Let's see if there's somebody that has, has one we can grab for an example. Put P and G, sometimes that'll help it be transparent. Let's see if any of these are, there's one that's transparent, has a little checkers behind it. So let's view that. Yoga logo, it keeps doing log. Um, and let's go here to upload your logo, whatever your yoga, if you're in the yoga niche, you go over here to uploads, upload your own image. And there's your yoga logo, you can upload it. And then you're going to be able to click on it and just brought it into the picture and then just kind of arrange it wherever you want it to be like that. Now look what you have. You have a nice picture quote with your yoga logo. And you might want these to be closer. You might say, you know, after looking at this, I think I want these to be closer. Let's space it. Let's get them a little bit closer. Okay. And now you got kind of like a neat kind of a template. Okay, so now you've got a yoga quote just like that. Now, another trick, when you have six images, see I have all these images, okay? If I have six images, what I'm probably gonna do is, if I just wanna download this one, if I go here to download, it's gonna download all, these are called pages. Each image is called a page, it's gonna download all. What if I only want to download one? Well, it gives you an example. You can download either Instead of, I could, do, I could do all, or I could do one through, I could do, just give me images three, four, and five. I would do, I would click on this, and I would do three to five. That means I would, I would download only images three, four, and five. Or, says, see how it says eight by itself? If I just want this image right here, six, I would go download, I'll click here, and I would just type six. That's just going to download just image number six. It's saving the design, 
it's holding it and it's like right now it's holding tight, preparing your design and then a box is gonna come up to save it and you're gonna title it, you know, yoga quote inside outside, something like that and then you're gonna save it. And just like that, it's saving that image. I got a nice quality image right here and that image is ready to go, okay? So that's kind of how that works is you can basically go and create images and you can save them. It's pretty clean, it's a pretty good, um, Pretty good deal, okay? You go over here to file, make sure you saved your last stuff, and it's all good to go. Now when you go back to your homepage here, see how this is titled Ice Cream Recipe? Now you know these are your yoga, you're gonna go, you're gonna title something better, you're gonna go Instagram yoga quotes. Instagram yoga quotes. And now you can do a whole entire folder right here, a whole entire folder of, of yoga Instagram quotes. Just like that when you click on it. Now, let's say you're like, these were just demos. You're like, I don't want these anymore in here. They're just taking up space. All you do is you hit the trash can. Trash can, trash can, trash can, trash can, trash can. And now you just have, you know, all changes are saved. It's saving in real time right there, save. So all changes are saved. And now it's just, you've got your yoga logo. You've got your template. There's your yoga logo. Every single one of these. Now, if you want to duplicate, you duplicate and you just change the text, you know. Here is my new yoga quote. This one will definitely give you inner happiness when you read it, okay? And there's your new quote. See how simple it is? And you can just press duplicate and you can keep duplicating quotes. Now, it's very easy to also change the image, okay? Because if you go back and you go found another image, you can go and you can save another one. You can go and you can save these other images. You can find good images and you can go save them and just put yoga quotes over them. Now, let's keep, let's keep going because some of you might need to understand and be able to relate to how you can tie this into your brand. Well, you know, that's the key is that let's say that this is just focusing on Instagram. I mean, this is really usable everywhere. When you go to, um, you know, when you go here, if you were to type in, you know, yoga quote, well, let's say even yoga pose, yoga quote, hashtag yoga quote, like look at all these, look at all these people posting 1,432 likes and stuff like this, people doing yoga poses, look at this one, love yourself and do yoga, people are posting yoga poses everywhere, these are very, very popular, so I just took one niche someone gave me right off the bat that I'm not even in, I don't even do yoga, and you can see here, look, people are doing these, these plain quotes like this, okay, let's, let's do one of these really quick. Just to show you how simple it is. You've got your yoga quotes, right? Let's duplicate this. And let's take out that image. Let's delete, let's delete that. Let's delete that. Okay. And let's just do um, elements, shapes, and a square. Let's put a square in there. And let's make this square some really pleasant on the eyes color, like maybe a pink, something like that, something bright. Okay. Let's make this square pink. Okay. And now let's arrange and let's send it to the back, 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 just like that, forward, just right there. Now, what I'll do is I'll maybe put this text up like this, put this logo down here in the, in the bottom. Now watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm going to, let's say my page, my Instagram page was at yoga fashionista. Okay, let's say that was my brand, my yoga brand, at yoga fashionista. Um, let's just kind of mess with this for a minute. Let's get it looking good. Let's find maybe a different font that kind of looks really good for, that's kind of, I want to get something easy to read, something clean. Okay, I like that one. Okay, and let's make it a little bit smaller so it's not overwhelming. Okay, let's put it right there. Okay, let's do this. Let's crop that little image, that logo image. Let's crop that. And I just cropped that little flower. Let's make this font here black. And I'm doing this in real time in front of you guys. And I'm not even really a graphic designer. I'm trying to do this all for free. Okay. And what I just did was I just basically made my own little logo right there, you guys. How powerful was that? I just basically made my own logo really quickly right in front of you, just showing you the power of it, at Yoga Fashionista. So now I have a template 
for Instagram quotes. Just like that. I can now go and I can go and put in any text I want on any topic I want. Boom. And I've got a nice like little template with some bright colors. And that's just all going off of like what I'm seeing here. The way yoga affects people of different cultures is the same. Together, yoga and meditation. So look at this one. I can just copy this quote here. Together, let's do this whole quote right here. Now all I got to do is I could basically take that quote right there and I can go over here and I can find like, you know, one of these existing ones or just add a little bit of body text, okay? Paste that quote in there. Let's make it big and let's change that font size so it's huge. Got to change the font size to like 56, something big. Okay, and now let's get this organized just a little bit. Let's see if we can find, let's see if we can get a really good font that'll make this pop. Notice we're giving the credit to this person here, Fabiana. Fabiana, Fabiana, I don't know how to pronounce all this stuff. Got this thing centered, okay? We already got a quote there, but now let's kind of mess with the font really quick and see if we can maybe find something better. Just go through. Okay, that one looks fine. Okay, do you see how easy this was? Together, yoga and meditation act as a doorway to the vast universe within us that once opened can never be closed. And we got the person's name right there. We can maybe make that, boom. And we could take that, it's got a little underline over it. Let's just do um, ignore, add to dictionary, that name. Okay, so just like that, number, item number three is a quote, ready to go. Look, together yoga and meditation acts as a doorway. All I did was I found somebody else's quote right here and I'm still giving them credit, I'm giving the person credit, but now I'm putting my brand. See what they did? That's all they did. They put their logo, they got a little thing here, hello yoga, and together yoga, they just put in a quote. These are picture quotes. We just found it just by going here to yoga. Every day stretch your comfort zone further. This is like basically the same thing, look. Same thing, they're following the same exact instructions I'm giving. They put their little yoga logo up here, they took a picture and underneath the legs they put, some, they put a font. See how simple this is? You guys, you can do this. This is what everybody's doing. And this is really, these things go, these things go well. You know, people love sharing quotes and stuff like that. Okay, so, you know, if you, I like to look at, um, I like to look at people that are doing quotes, like Ask a Millionaire. You know, I like to look at quotes and I like to see, like, I like to look at it. Like, look, this one has 8,661 likes. The strongest people make time to help others even if they are struggling with their own problems. You see, so see how, see how simple something like this is to make, okay? It's a picture of a hand reaching out, okay? So let's, let's do like, go to Google, hand reaching, and let's do HD to see if we can get a nice image, HD for a nice image. And you just go and you find like a, a hand reaching. You know, you go and you see if you can find one that's like a really powerful kind of a hand, like that person's, like, like something like that, you know? Like even this one right here, you know? So you just look for something that would be like a really good hand reaching out and that's all they do is they're just taking, they're just going through images and they're just literally just grabbing one and making it darker. The same stuff that we're talking about here. Okay, it's the same exact thing. And maybe we'll do like um, hand reaching out. You can get even a little bit darker, get a little bit more. So you can basically see this is how these people are doing it. See this hand reaching out? This is how people are doing this. They're basically finding images and they're just putting quotes over them. So let's take this image here, save image, reaching out, go over here to your Instagram, and let's go ahead and add a new page. Um, let's upload our hand reaching out. Let it load in, okay, there it is. So we got our hand reaching out. We can kind of make this whatever, however, whatever size we got to make it. Let's kind of look and let's see what looks good. Okay, there's a hand reaching out. I think that one looks pretty good right there. And then we're going to add some text. Let's go ahead and add some text right there. Let's make that text white so we can read it. Actually, you know what? Before we even add the text, let's make that picture darker. Let's add an element. Just like this. And there's another, there's another way to do this. Let me show you another way. When you add an element, let's make this one black. Let's move that one. Um, you know, you can basically add an element like this and then you could always upload your image on top of it. And then you could take your image and make it a little bit transparent too. That's another way. So you can make that kind of dark like that. You can do that too. You can take a black background, 
add your image on top of it, and then make your image slightly dark like that. That's another way to do it. So we get, let's start with a black background. Make our image a little bit dark like that. And then let's get it like whatever kind of size we, we want it. Okay? And then you can basically go, um, sorry, I just deleted that for one accident. Anyways, let me just go quick here since I just deleted that. Shapes, grab this. Boom, 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 boom. My bad. Um, I'm in real time, I'm live. And then let's just make that, like that. Okay, so we got this dark image. There's a light image of a hand. We're gonna make it a little bit darker. So we could still see it's a hand. That's the key. You wanna still see it's a hand. Let's look, let's look back at that Ask a Million. Let's see how dark that is. See that hand? See how it's dark? You can kind of do the same thing in a real low budget way right here just by doing this. Okay, so there's a dark hand right there. And then I just go over here to text and put a heading, make it white. Let's make it a big font, okay, maybe even bigger, 88. Okay, and then let's look at that quote. And that quote says, the strongest people make time to help others, comma, even if they're struggling with their own problems. The strongest people make time to help others, comma, even if they are struggling with their own problems. Okay, now we gotta get this thing dialed in and lined up, right? So right off the bat, we know it's too big, so let's just make it smaller just for the time being. Okay, so we got a quote here. Now we gotta find the right font. Okay, so let's find a font. Now let's look at their font. Their font, they're using just these, these big letters that kind of stand out, okay? So let's go here and let's just try, just go through and let's find something that you think would be, you know, good. I mean, it's just different quotes or different people, like different things. You know, maybe, maybe you think it looks good up here. You know, instead of all over the thing, let's put it up here, okay? Now the strongest people make time to help others. We go, okay, maybe if that uh, problems didn't wrap, so let's maybe make it, see if we can get 60. Right there, the strongest people make time to help others even if they're struggling with their own problems. And then let's take this um, yoga logo and let's put it down there. And let's take this yoga fashionista logo and let's put that down there and just drag it down. And what you basically have is you have the ability now to be able to um, you know, have your own element right here and have your own quote thing right there as well. And have it nice and neat right there. It's kind of hidden. It's pretty cool. Or you could like put it like right here where it's a little bit wider. Yoga fashionista. And just put like that like right there. Or that right there. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? The strongest people make time to help others even if they're struggling with their own problems. So there's just cool stuff you can do. Okay, there's like really cool stuff you can do. You can basically um, mess with the thing if you wanted to. You can make it different colors. There's just so much stuff you could do, you guys. It's, it's, it's cool. This is just all free graphics. So see, how I'm, see what I'm doing? I'm able to come in here. So you're able to essentially build your own brand and do picture quotes. Well, not only are you able to do picture quotes, but you're also able to um, add watermarks to your e-commerce products. So now let's take a look at you know, some, some Shopify related stuff. Let's go to site my Shopify.com and let's look at one of these other niches. What do we look at? We looked at yoga. Let's look at uh, fishing. Okay. Site my Shopify.com fishing. Let's go to the, one of these fishing sites. Let's go to uh, let's go to fishing. Um, free offer. Let's see if something comes up for a fishing free offer. Let's see. Let's find one of these sites and see if they're any good. Okay, so here's a product right here. There's a free offer here. It's a free pocket fishing snips, just pay shipping and handling. So let's call it free pocket fishing snips. Let's save that. Okay, free pocket fishing snips thing. And let's go back into our folder here. Just let's just pretend it's all the same niche. And um, let's delete that. And let's delete that. And let's delete that. Okay. You got your little logo thing there. Go to uploads, upload your e-commerce image. So we got your e-commerce image, the thing that you're looking to promote, um, let's say on Instagram or Facebook. So first things first, let's try to get this thing looking good on the page, okay, right there. Okay, you got it nice, nice and neat in the square and then you can get your logo right there and your logo right there. Let's put it like right here. Let's make that. Dun, dun. Okay. 
and boom. Look at that. Now you have your own branded watermarked image. So just like that, whatever your brand was, let's, let's say instead of yoga fashionista, this was um, fishing warehouse or something like that. Who knows? Fishing warehouse. Now instead of this little icon, maybe we're going to get a better icon. Let's just go over here to elements and see if they have a good one. Let's go to uh, fishing. There's one for a dollar. And you can go look in here and see if they have any kind of cool fishing stuff though. Make sure there's one for free. Not the ones that are a dollar. But you can go in here and you could like browse through. Or you could just go like this. Watch like fishing icon in Google images. And whatever your logo is. If you actually had like fishing icon PNG. If you had a logo, it would help even a little bit more. But let's just say this is part of your logo. I don't know really how to, how to, I don't know how to tell like what, what you're going to use for your logo and whatnot. But um, let's get a better one. Let's see. Is this one? Let's get this little guy here. This little fishing guy. Save image. Little, fisher, little fishing guy. Okay. So instead of this, let's delete that one. And let's upload our little fishing icon guy. And let's say that was your logo or whatever it was. You could put that on like every single one of your things. Make it a little smaller. Put it right there. Make this font a little bit smaller. This is not like. And now you got your nice little. Everywhere you go. You got your little. You got your little logo and stuff like that. You just organize it around like that. Really easy. You don't need designers. You don't need nothing. Pretty simple, right? You can basically just make it. Make it however you want it. Make it look good. There you go. So fishing warehouse. See how you have your product image from Ali or wherever you're getting it. And then you have your little logo, whatever your logo is. And, and that, might be, that might not be your logo. Let's go to fishing store logo. Okay, let's go to, let's say your store logo was this one. Okay, so there's your store logo. We'll copy this one so we can leave that one as an example. Let's delete that. Let's delete that. And let's upload your store, your actual store logo. <coughs> and there you go. Upload your store logo. It's coming in. Give it a second to load in and then click on it. And there it is. You got your logo there. Boom, boom, boom. How clean is that? So that's how you can put your logos on your stuff. And if you don't want that logo to stand out as much, you could always come here and make it a little bit more transparent. See, you can make it all the way white. You can kind of go in and kind of go, okay, I just want to have it be like a watermark. And it kind of just sits there a little bit less obtrusive. So you can kind of decide like what, what you want for it, you know, something like that. So that's going to be the key to doing this. Now let's take it a little bit further. Okay. Now what I'm going to show you about is the because they're going to talk about e-commerce ads. So what I want to show you now is 20% um, text rule with Facebook, okay, is have less than 20% of your image be recognizable text by Facebook if you want your post to get more exposure in your advertising. Okay, so it's not, it's this, this is, this is a rule. I want you to be in, like, they've changed this and Facebook says you no longer have to have 20% text, but you still really do. Don't believe, when people tell you that this rule is gone, don't believe them. There's, if you want to get more exposure, less text is better. So I'm going to show you guys a, a powerful, here is a powerful way to ensure that your um, ads get the most exposure. Okay. This, you guys, so first of all, let me ask you guys, who's paying attention? Who's excited right now? Who's excited to learn about a strategy to make sure that your ads get the most exposure and that they're getting the most um, impressions, that they're getting the most clicks, they're getting the most conversions? Who's excited to learn a, a, a quick little technique about this? Let me know in the comments right now. And I know some of you are asking questions like what about for videos, but this is a training on graphics. So let's just stick to graphics. Um, and I'll answer questions at the end if there's a lot of, if there's a lot of questions. So who's excited? Are you guys excited? All right, here we go. This is, this is a, this is one of those pay attention moments. 
Okay, pay close attention. Let's, let's do this. Let's uh, delete this logo and let's put some text on here. Okay, ready? Watch this. This, you guys are going gonna to love this. Okay? Um, let's put in some text here. Let's, um, for this text, let's move it up. Let's put this text, let's make this text all black for now. Just, we can make a better color, but let's make it all black um, just so that it'll stand out on this image. And black. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this image down a little bit lower to make more room for some text. See what I did? I just dragged it. Okay. Now, I've got this text up here. Um, and let's look what the product is. I forgot what this thing was even called. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what it's called anymore. Okay, here it is. Free pocket fishing snips, just pay shipping and handling. So let's say you want to actually, <clears throat> let's say you actually want to put that on your, on your Canva, on your picture. So let's, let's have it, let me post, let me say, let's say free pocket fishing snips. Free pocket shipping, fishing snips. And then underneath that, let's change that text to just pay shipping and handling. Just pay shipping and handling. And then let's change this to get these Free pocket fishing snips, just pay shipping and handling. Okay, so you're like, you know what? This is gonna be great. I'm so excited. This is my ad. Now, just because you have an ad, does it, in, in fact, let's even put this here. Okay, let me just put this down here just as an example. Okay, you have a nice, beautiful ad. You've just created it really quick. It was so simple. Okay, now, does this have 20% text in it? 30%, 40%, how do you even know? Okay. So what you're going to do is it's image number seven. You're going to click download seven. You're going to hit download. It's going to save your design. Follow along with me because I'm going to show you something that has made me so much more money. And it's such a simple thing and I'm going to teach you guys for free right now. And we're going to call this one free fishing snippets. I'm surprised it's letting me save this stuff. Oh, as I say it, my disk is too full. Why did I say that out loud? Um, <laughs> Hold on one second, you guys. Let me, uh, let me delete something real quick off of my computer. Size, what's a, what's a heavy size? Dun, dun, dun. Move to trash, and then delete trash. Empty trash. Okay, let's try to save that again. Okay, download. I really do need to clean my computer. I'm going live every day and saving so much stuff. Download, let's call this again, fishing snips, or whatever these are. Fishing snips. Let's see if that saves. The verdict is yes. I deleted something and was able to make room. Okay, so we got fishing snips. So now, here's what you do. You go to Google, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in something. You're gonna type in 20% text rule. Okay, just type in, just do a Google search, 20% text rule. Okay, 20% text rule. There is this thing here called the, the text overlay tool. Okay, and I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a link to it. Um, and I'm gonna put that may may not work in mobile, may only be desktop friendly. Okay, I don't know, but some people were saying they had trouble visiting it the other day when I posted it in mobile. Okay, that is what it is. Can't make everything perfect. Okay, so it's this thing we just went to this link. It lets you upload images to determine if your ad will run normally. Okay, let me make this bigger. It lets you know if your ad will run normally or your ad reach might be slightly lower, your ad, meet, ad reach might be much lower or your ad may not run at all, okay? So what you do is you come in here and you're gonna upload and you're gonna find that little logo you just did and then it's gonna, it's gonna run like an automatic kind of equation on it real quick, okay? It's gonna run it in here and look what it says, image text low. You may reach fewer people because there's too much text in the advertising image. Facebook prefers ad images with little or no text. Consider changing your image before placing an order. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see how important this is? It's important because um, if you're getting ready to spend your hard earned money on this, this, this ad right here may not get good reach. So what you've gotta do is you've gotta do, now here's the thing. 
This goes back to that whole 20% text roll. I'm telling you, let's, let's, let's change this real quick. Let's, let's mix this up just a little bit. So let's go over here, back to our Canva, and let's duplicate it. And now, watch what I'm gonna do. Pay close attention, because here's a little hack. I'm gonna go over here to Elements. And I'm gonna go from Elements, I'm gonna go over here to this thing called Grids. Okay, it's the second option here, Grids. And then, inside of this Grids right here, when you click it, it's gonna open up all these different grids. I'm gonna go all the way down to the last ones. Okay. Okay, here we are, and these last ones. Okay, so I went all the way down like to the bottom where these grids are here. Now I'm gonna look for the grid that is five by five. Okay, so let's, let's type this out. Okay, um, go to Canva. Let me make this unitalicized. Okay, go to Canva, Elements, Grids, scroll to the bottom, look for the grid that is five by five. Okay, add that grid to, uh, to your image. Okay, so watch what we're gonna do. This grid here is the one that's five by five. See five squares by five squares? We're gonna click on that. Whoops, it added up to the one above it. Hold on, let me, let me scroll down and click on this one. We want it on this image. There it is. Okay, see how it added that grid here? The problem is, is that it's covering up a lot of my stuff. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna make it transparent a little bit. Okay, now it's a little bit transparent. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this grid I want to make it just transparent enough where I can still see it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this grid just, um, and maybe I'm going to change the color of it too, but pick a color, I don't know. But I'm going to move this grid just behind the text. See, right now it's in front of the text. So I'm going to go arrange. Let me move it up here so you can see it. I'm going to go arrange, back, and right there. So just like that, now this text is in front of this grid. Okay. What I did was I added this five by five grid, I made it a little bit transparent, and I moved and I pressed arrange and I moved it back behind uh, the text. So add the grid to your image, make it a little bit transparent, and move it behind your image. Make sure the grid is the full. Um, make sure the grid is the full uh, height and width of your image. So like this would only work if, um, you see this grid, this grid kind of stops here, stops there. So it's essentially the full height and width. It's close enough. Okay, so now 20%, if this is five by five, okay, 20% would be five of these. Okay, watch, so watch this. This is what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting, okay? Because see, this would be, if, 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 if a row of five of these is 20%, then that's 20, 40, 60. Let me make this actually smaller now because I got too big. It's going to be 20, 40, 60, 80, 100%. See, so one row is equal to 20%. So the 20% text rule essentially means you have five squares that you can have text in. So there's a couple options. I'm going to move, I'm going to make all this text fit in five squares, and that's how my ad's gonna get approved. So the, main, the first thing I'm gonna do is move it down. Okay, free pocket fishing snips. Okay, that text now fits inside of five squares, but this text doesn't. But the question is, do I really need that text? Get these. I'm just gonna delete it. Now look at this, free pocket fishing snips. Just pay shipping and handling. But that shipping and handling is below the squares. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to take this whole thing right here, and I'm gonna copy it. I just made a duplicate. Okay, let's bring it down here, out of the way. On this duplicate, I'm going to delete all of this text and I'm gonna leave just, the sh just pay shipping and handling. And on this one up here, I'm gonna remove and delete the shipping and handling. So what I did was I basically duplicated this. I have this says free pocket, uh, free pocket fishing snips, I'm gonna move it up. And then this one here says just pay shipping and handling. I'm gonna move that up and fit it right there, right underneath it in the square. In fact, I might even just put it right here so it fits underneath that fishing really well. I might even put it right here lined up to the left. Okay, something like that. So you could just move it around a bunch, okay? 
So that's kind of how cool this is. Like, and I might, you could do something with it. You can make it bold. You can make it unbold. Let's make it bold and see what that looks like. Free pocket fishing snips just by shipping and handling. This text now all fits within five of these squares. Now, I don't know if the logo is going to be red though. Look, the logo has very readable bait and tackle on it. So you know what? There's an option. I could just delete the logo, but let's see. Now I've got this new ad. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click back on this five by five grid. I'm going to click on that and delete it. Okay. Delete element. Now look what I have. I have free pocket fishing snips, just pay shipping and handling. And I'm all set and it fits. Now I'm going to duplicate it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this thing again because I don't like how that's sitting low. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to add back in the five by five. Okay. Let's click here. Add in the five by five. Let's make that a little bit transparent like we did before, okay? And then let's arrange and let's move it behind the text. I know because this text is going to get big and bold right there. Okay, move on the text. Now, let's say I don't like it touching that. So now, let me move, let's do the whole thing again, but let's move all this text up. Free pocket fishing snips, just pay shipping and handling, okay? Let's, let's like get it up a little bit. Now we're going to get up in that top part. Okay. Now I know that fits in the 20%. Now we're going to go click back on this grid and we're going to delete it. Delete element. Okay. Now I can maybe even move this, this image maybe even up a little bit. Let's maybe even get, I have more room now. Let's look, I'll move that up, make it a little bit better. Okay. So now I still have this logo in here, free pocket fishing snips, just pay shipping and handling. And it's like a little bit cleaner. Okay. Now I can duplicate it once more and maybe I do one more version, but without this logo. Okay. And then I might even put like, I might even go and see if there's a free, a free icon, free. Maybe there's some sort of a free icon that I could even try to use. But again, anything with text on it is going to be, it's going to be tricky, but you could like try to go find like a, like a free icon and I'll show you what it'll look like. Let's go get something where it's, where it's free. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. That's not going to work, is it? Um, free, maybe a free tag. Free tag icon. Yeah, one of these like little free icons, something like that. Find something here like a little free sign. You know, obviously this text is probably going to be going to be readable. You know, but you could find something, let's say that you liked. You can go through and look and maybe there's something that's, that you like. Okay. So you can kind of like, you can even have fun with like a clip art thing like that and put the word free inside of it. You know, there's lots of stuff you can do. So you can, you can add icons if you wanted. Um, let's see, maybe there's free fishing. A free fishing icon. Con fishing, a person fishing. You know, that's kind of, there's maybe it's something cool you can put in that's not an image, just something that grabs their attention more like fishing. So you have your image right here. You got those, maybe people can't realize that's for fishing. So maybe you grab like another image that makes it for fishing. Here's one. And maybe you grab an image like you're trying to like make it like fishing cartoon icon. Make your ad pop a little bit more. Make it look a little bit more like it's fishing. Grab a little cartoon, add it. Let me put it over here. Like that. You know, there's lots of cool like little things you could do. So now you kind of free pocket fishing snips, boom, and it just kind of shows that you, it's like has to do with fishing. Okay, so there's like lots of things. We got this one right here, Jerry's Bait and Tackle. So let's test this one out now. Okay, let's go over here to nine. Let's download. Let's press nine. And let's call this uh, fishing snip, fishing snip, um, new ad, something like that. Fishing, snips, new ad. Let's save it. And now let's go back to that 20% text rule and let's upload another one. Let's upload our new ad and let's see what this thing says about it. Let's see, who knows? I mean, why not just run it by really quick and check, check that out. Look, look at the difference there, you guys. How powerful is that? Just right off the bat, Look at the simplest difference there. 
Look at what Facebook is telling us. Okay versus low. I mean, just, it's the same ad. You know, essentially the same exact ad, but Facebook is saying they're gonna run one better than the other. Um, the simplest little changes can help your ads get way more exposure, okay? Did you guys know that? Was that a valuable, let me know in the comments right now if that little technique is a valuable technique. I'm gonna go ahead and post a picture here for you in the, in the Google Doc. And then I wanna look at your comments right there. Let me know, was, is stuff like this helpful? Do you, do you like learning stuff like this? Is this kind of stuff right here? Like look, straight up, right in real time in a niche you guys gave me, I just went and basically put something together and look how I changed the ad. Get these, look at the difference. It's the ad is such a small difference and one says it's gonna run low, and one says it's gonna run normal. How powerful is that? So let me go in the group here and let me, let me see um, what you guys, let me see where I am. I, I lost the group. Let me go back. Let me go back to the group here. So um, let me see what you guys are thinking about this. Dun, dun, dun. Where are we live? Okay, let me read some of your comments on that. I'm interested in hearing, interested in hearing from each of you on that. Very helpful, very valuable. Training's awesome. Huge time saver, saves time and money. Yeah, like look, you knew about the 20% text rule but didn't know that the slightest positioning makes such a difference. And I just showed you guys how to do this for free. Right? It's just for free. Okay, so in a nutshell, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm showing you, um, you know, you can use Canva to create um, designs for all your e-com needs. So let's, let's make a list of like different types of designs you can do with this, okay? So let's start with like your store. Let's talk, let's talk about your Shopify store. You guys brainstorm with me. So for your, on your Shopify store, what are, some, what are some, uh, some things you can do? On your Shopify store, what are some benefits Canva can do to help you with designs in your Shopify store? It could help you with your store logo. So it could help you with your, let's just, let's just put all these items. It could help you with your logo. It could help them with, you, with your um, homepage slider images. It can help you with like um, credit card images on product in product descriptions. It can help you with um, better product images than you find on AliExpress. It can help you um, add your own store watermark to images. It can help you, um, why is that not showing up? Let's just do that. Um, add your own store watermark to images. Let's see what some of you are saying. How can it help your store? Nothing, just, just your store right now. What are some ways that Canva can help you create designs for your store? Let's see. Flash sale images, that's a good idea. Let's see. That's a creative one, so so far one Branding flash site so it could help with your flash sale images. It can help with your free plus shipping offers. It can help with your bundle offers when if you're combining products. You can put them put several products on one image and, and offer a, a combined sale. It can help with um, holiday sales graphics. It can help with your um, Email opt-in image for, you know, discount coupon code. It can add your branding to all your images. Okay, it can add, what else? You guys got more creative ideas? Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Possibilities are endless. Yeah, that's probably the most true. Okay, so that's just your store. Now let's go to, let's go to your uh, Facebook page. It can help with your profile photo, your cover photo, photos to post on your page and you can add logos. It can help picture quotes for your page. 
You can add logo for branding. It can help. Um, it can help uh, create. Um, it can help add text to product pictures for promotions. It can help you um, target a niche market for a general product. That's that's a good one. So, for example, um, example. Let's say you have a pet and dog. Um, let's let's like let me go in and let me let me show you like an example that we, that we can actually do. Okay, so let's say um, let's go in and let's do pet grooming. Okay, so let's take an example. We were we were talking about this one the other day, like this dog grooming um, item right here, right? This dog these dog grooming brush. Okay, so this brush right here is for dogs and for cats, right? So here, here's an example. Okay, let me let me just like we should we should show this like we could save these images and we could show you like the example of this, right? So let's let's go through an example. Example: pet and dog supplies that need to be targeted to a specific pet. Okay, so. Like an example for that would be like this this image right here, and let's put let's make this thing small. I don't want it this big. Let's see, make it tiny. Okay. So this image right here is an example, right? So this image, <clears throat> for example, this image clearly targets dogs. Okay, but they probably sometimes they'll even have the same they, they might not have it like if you look here maybe they don't have it for cats see look at this they only have it for dogs but look it says dogs and cats so it says it's for dogs and cats but they don't have an image for dogs I mean sorry for cats so you would you would need to put a cat in there to make it symbolic so you know you could basically try to find one or you could just add in a cat so you could just go in here you could take this image, go to Canva, <clears throat> and create a create a whole thing with it. You know, you can just create like a whole thing, and literally like upload your own images. A self cleaning thing. Okay, let's get this thing. Let's get an image lined up in here. This is how it helps you guys. You guys, you guys need to know how this helps you. How how it helps your e commerce, right? So. Now you have the same exact thing, but let's get a picture of a cat, okay? Cat grooming or whatever. Go to images and it's bonus points if you could find the exact actual cat groomer. So what, is, what does this thing look like? This thing looks like it's like a, it's like a whatever. You could actually see the exact name of it probably somewhere right here. It's self clean dog, puppy pro full grooming, shredding. It's a, it's a shedding comb tool for cats. So we go cat grooming, shedding brush or something like that and you can maybe find you can maybe find one that's got like an image of a cat being groomed okay but let's go back those those other pictures were actually better so cat grooming you can maybe just find a picture of like a cat being groomed and being being all happy you know like and you can add like the other images to it so you could basically find like it I, I wouldn't want to use a different grooming brush I mean I'd probably spend a little bit of time but e even something like this even something like this would do it actually because now you're able to show cats and dogs. Pet grooming services. See something funny like that? You can add that, you can add that kind of stuff right there to your picture. So let's go here and let's mess with this really quick. Watch. Okay, so you've got you know, basically this picture here. Let's move it up a little bit or whatever. And let's add that other one. Upload your own. And you know, maybe this isn't the best one to go with it, but watch, it's like, you could just have fun with it. You've got this funny picture of this cat and this dog right here. And that gives you the ability to be able to do more, like make that thing big. People, it'll catch people's attention. Okay. And obviously there, it's funny that they're holding those things, right? So now you can build, build an ad around that. So now, even though it's like this, you could actually go back to Ollie and see if there's a better, 
And now you can maybe use like one of these pictures or whatever it might be, something that might be better, um, you know, about this product. Because now you have the funny, you have the funny thing right there, right? You have the funny image. But you can always make this one work too. So you might want to go like, you know, let's put it like that, okay? Or you might want to go and put it just like that. You might want to go make this thing a little bit bigger. And even even if you see like. Um, Let's say you see like, like these things popping up. You can, you can click on this image and you can press crop. Okay, you can actually like, you know, what you could do is you could just make, you can move this to try to just get the image in it. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so let's press check. Now we just got that image we can move around and it still has little cat heads. If you see this like little stuff that you want to get out, like these little, the little cat ears or stuff like that, then what you could do is you could go here to elements, okay? And go back up to the top, unclick grids, go back to shapes, throw in a white square or whatever. Let's make this one white. And then you could just like basically put, like make it just the size to like cover up those ears. Like look at that, look how simple that is. Boop. Now those ears are like covered up, okay? I just put a little, I just created a little thing and I can copy this one. Create another one and cover up those ears. And there you go. I just covered up those ears by just adding in a white um, thing. And then I'll say, you know, like, and then I'll go up here and I've already got that template, right? So let's go in here and let's, let's say for this one, instead of just pay shipping, yeah, maybe it's just pay shipping and handling. Maybe what I'll do now is I'll actually, um, instead of free pocket fishing snips, maybe we'll call this um, free cat grooming brush okay free cat grooming brush just like that free cat grooming brush and it's got the funny the cat and the dog right there free cat grooming brush it's number 11 and this is the kind of stuff you're able to do and I'm just doing it live on the spot right now once you learn how to do this a little bit you get you get an idea for how to tell outsourcers to design this stuff for you even better okay I'm just having fun with that at this point okay and I'm not even showing, I'm not even showing you um, how to erase backgrounds on this stuff. Free cat grooming brush. So now you're gonna go back to that Facebook tool and you're gonna go up here and you're gonna upload and make sure that free cat grooming brush works. Let's let that load in. And once you have a template, you can run your own ads. Your ad, will, your ad text will run okay. Free cat grooming, grooming brush. And I've got a cat and a dog. And so I could do another one that says free dog grooming brush. I could do another one that says free pet grooming brush. But the fact that I have a cat there and a dog there, it's, it's, it's a little bit better. Now, I don't even have to have the dog. I can go here. Remember, I can create one. And this one could be my, let's say my free pet grooming brush. And let's duplicate it. And now on this one, let's, um, let's do this. Let me click on this, let's crop it. And on this one, let's just take the cat. Just the cat, not the dog. And let's press okay. Now I got just the cat. And let's make the cat a little bit bigger over here. <clears throat> let's go just the cat. Let's make this thing a little bit smaller. Okay, let's bring this to the front, arrange. Forward, 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 forward. Let's make that like that. Free cat grooming brush. And then maybe it's like, I want to even draw a little bit more attention to it. Watch this. Curved arrow. Let's search curved arrow in Google. Let's go to images. Oh, and you can always type PNG if you want to get one that's transparent. And let's look and let's, let's see if there's a curved arrow that's kind of like exciting. And maybe we'll do one that's like a left curved arrow. And there's all these different arrows. Boom. And you can just go see if one is like pretty cool, like maybe this one. View the image. Save it. Left curved arrow. Go back to your thing here and just have some fun with it. Upload it. And I'm just having fun at this point, showing you the potential for what you could do. Left curved arrow. 
and let's go ahead and let's add this. Let's go over here and let's add this to our image. And maybe let's make, let's move this thing over to the left a little bit. Let's move this thing a little bigger. There you go. Now you got a little arrow. Free cat. Free cat grooming brush. Free cat grooming brush. Line it up a little bit with just pay shipping. Got a little arrow pointing to it. You're good to go. Free cat grooming brush. Just pay shipping and handling. Okay? I'm just showing you. I'm not saying this is the greatest ad in the world, but look. Free pet grooming brush. Free pocket fishing snips. I'm just saying we know that these ads will run. And then you can duplicate this one. And instead of the cat, click on that. And now let's make this one the, the dog. Let's cut the cat out of there. Put the dog in there. And then press OK. And then go over here. And maybe put like, there's the dog's going to fit right there. Dun, dun, dun. Make it a little bit smaller. Move this little white thing over there. Move it up a little bit so it covers that up. There you go. So I'm not saying that these are like, my point is not that these are the, these are the, that these are the greatest ads ever invented to man in kind. I'm just saying in a, in a very basic level, I'm just basically saying that, um, that look, at, look at what we were able to do. Free pocket fishing snips, free pet grooming brush, free cat grooming brush, free dog grooming brush. Are you starting to see the power of what you could do here? And this is just taking existing AliExpress images. So, you know, essentially what I'm saying, for example, this image clearly targets dogs. But what if we took the image into Canva and had it target pets, dogs, and cats, each with their own separate ads so you can laser... So you can match the image directly with the audience, okay? That's, that's what I'm talking about doing here, okay? So now you've got image 13. You download image 13, free dog grooming brush. Oh, and see how, see how it says, see how this says, see how it goes over the dog, the letter G goes over the shipping and handling? So see, when I see that, that's a little bit different, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe just try to take this and just try to raise it up a little bit. right there and maybe just raise it up a little bit. That one might be a little bit different. Just like that. Just pay shipping and handling. Or I might take this knowing that this just pay shipping and handling is um, knowing as long as I don't move it down, the just pay shipping and handling is right there. As long as I don't move it down, I can maybe move it right there in the, in the middle. Just pay shipping and handling. Free dog grooming brush. Just pay shipping and handling on that one since the letters are wrapped. So you could change it up a little bit. Okay, having some fun with this, you guys. I'm just having some fun. So if you want to save this, you go download 13. And this one will be the one for the dog. See how it says whole type preparing design? It's going to pop up a box to let you save it on your computer. And you're going to save this one as the dog ad. And then you want to go save number 12 as the cat ad. So download 12. Press download, and then it's basically pulling up savings for us, pulling up uh, saving your design. We're going to call this one the cat ad. And then you've got the generic one right here. 11 is the pet ad. And so now you've got three different ads. You just download them all. And plus, you have this template saved, so you can come in here and do anything. So you could even work with a designer. You know, one, one tip is to have your designers work inside of a Canva account so you can go in there and actually um, up, you know, copy the templates all on your own. So I'll give you guys, uh, you know, I'll say pro tip. Have your outsourcer work with you in your Canva account. Just add them as a team member. They can design in there and then you will have access to the templates. You can make sure um, the designs are amazing that they do and then you can simply 
swap out the text or make slight adjustments on your own for free. And let's say that this was a pro design, not one I just winged together. Well, let's say you wanted to change this text a little bit. You could just go in there and change the text to your own. You could just make a duplicate, change it, change the text to your own and do that. So that's essentially it. Like that's essentially how you do it. So um, let's go here and let's show you, let's show you some of these designs really quick. Let's insert a uh, table with three designs. Let's throw this um, pet one in there. Let's throw the cat one in there. Let's throw the dog one in there. Boom. Check that out, folks. Pretty cool. Look at that. I just showed you three different ads, one, one targeting cats and dogs, one targeting cats, one targeting dogs, just like that. Nice and simple. Did it in seconds. Not hard. Follows the 20% text rule. And you guys are getting going. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the remainder of the... Uh, nine minutes I have here in this session and I'm going to answer questions. So feel free to throw out your questions right now and I'll do my best to be able to answer them for you guys live. All right, some of you are saying the video dropped and I can see like half the people dropped off. I'm not sure why it dropped. Sometimes internet connection, stuff like that. So refresh, if you guys are having problems, refresh. Sorry about that for those of you that uh, dropped. All right, so if you guys missed what I said, feel free to ask questions for the last nine minutes. And again, apologize in advance if it dropped. The five by five rules, golden nugget to optimize better. What is the rule on shipping and handling pricing? Do you always send it to ePacket? Elaine, that's not related to this. This one, this topic is about graphic design. We covered that one in the... Uh, you always use ePacket. Always use ePacket for everything, no matter what. No matter what. Elaine, always use ePacket. Uh, let's see. Michael, it's a real money saver if you have a ton of time. Actually, this, at Michael, it's actually the opposite. It's not a money saver, it's a time saver. So what I do now, if I want to create an ad, I could just create an ad right here. And it, there's no faster way for me to create an ad. It would take me longer to explain to somebody how to create an ad for me. This, I could, I, I'm teaching you guys. Listen, I can create an ad right now in less than five minutes and have it up and running. There's just no faster way. So this is, this is not a money saver. It's a time saver more than anything. Edwin says, you have just made this episode a favorite. The Canva, tool, the Canva tools now essential. Thanks to Timeology. Awesome. Um, Timothy says, Chris, I finally got my first sale while watching this webinar. Awesome. Timothy, you should watch more webinars, man. Sounds like sales come, come flying in when you do. Um, how to remove the white background. Okay, so like if you want to remove background, just go to like remove background. Just do a Google search for remove background. And there's a site called Lunapic, which you can use. There's lots of these different sites. Let's just, I'll give you a site right here like Lunapic. Transparent background. So you can just go to this one here, Lunapic transparent background. This is just one example of many. Um, for transparent backgrounds, you can use Lunapic. That's or do a Google search to find many more, or pay someone on Fiverr five dollars to um, help with anything you need. But yeah, Lunatic right here. You could go in here to like to like Luna, Luna pick and let's go like, um, let's take this image here that I did with these, these cats and the, the cats and the dogs right there. And if you want to make this white transparent, then you're just going to click on the white and it instantly just erased all that white and it's, and it's done, you know, and I can just go down here and I can press save right underneath it. Okay. Now, if I go over here to Canva, look, look at the difference, okay? I just made it transparent in just two seconds. So let's, let's, do, um, let's erase all this stuff really quick so I can show you how, how that really is transparent. Okay, let's make this, um, let's, put a color, let's put a color here. Okay, so we got a black thing right there, right? 
the first one I had uploaded looked like this. See how it has that white background on it? There's nothing I could do there, right? That first one I uploaded just has that white background. But this new one I just made in two, I made it transparent in two seconds um, using Lunapic. Look at the difference. See? You can make them transparent. And I could have, see how it's a little white line around it? I could have even made it more transparent. This, that was only 5% transparent. I could make it more transparent. I could go and do stuff. And that's just a simple one. You kind of go and look and you kind of like look to see what, what transparent frequency you want. And that's just one of many tools right there. Okay? So there's, that's just an example. There's lots of tools out there. Um, what do we got here? Kenneth says, can someone from Techademics contact me? Kenneth, um, that would be difficult. With, with thousands and thousands of members, if Techademics started reaching out and trying to contact everybody to do that, we would, it, our company would go out of business. You know, we would have to charge for, for that. So you just have to get, use the group here to be able to get feedback. Um, why do you guys want to buy Photoshop? I'm curious. I don't even own Photoshop and I'm killing the game. Millions of dollars without, why, like, unless you're just dying to learn Photoshop, what is it I can do in Photoshop that I can't do for free online right now? Why, why do you need to wait until you're turning a profit? You, don't, you guys, you don't need Photoshop, okay? You, you, there's free programs right now. And all, all, there's even better programs than Photoshop because Photoshop's just too fancy for a beginner to use. If you do want to pay for something, there's better there's better programs out there. There just is. Like, like I'll give you an example. Here's, here's a program that I bought. Okay, this is, I bought this for my la last company, MoonPixlar. And watch, like there's just, there's just stuff so simple. I could just go to logos and I could just do like, click a category, let's call this, you know, yoga logo or whatever. And they give me all these template logos of all these kind of things I wanna use. I could just use any one of these. Let's say a dog one. There's a dog one right there. Let's go to background. Let's make it a transparent background. And then let's make, let's make this dog thing like, so I can see a little bit better for all you guys. Did they give me two, they give me, they give me like a, a dog icon right there. And let's just call this like, um, uh, you know, dog, doggy delight, maybe is the name of my store. So the name of my store is doggy delight. And there's my, my little dog thing. And there's my logo. And just like that, I just press download, PNG. Just like, look at how fast I just did a professional logo design. Doggy, delight, logo. Okay? And there's my doggy delight logo. I just did it in, what was that, like 10 seconds. There's programs out there. And if I want, I can kind of make it crop it, make it like this size, whatever. Doggy delight, I probably wouldn't use this one where it was a cat. But doggy delight, um, Doggy Delight logo, like in just, just in seconds, you know? So you don't, you don't need, now if I go back to Canva, like you'll be able to see this logo I just did. Upload my logo in just two seconds. I just made a logo for my store using site. So you don't need, there's, site, there's programs out there that are just killer. There's lots of them. This is just one. I'll, 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 I will go through and I'll find you some of the best ones out there. I mean, look at this, Doggy Delight right there. And if, and if this doesn't look good on a, on a dark background, then... I could just go here and, and, and change this color here. You know, you can go and you can just change, change everything around, you know? So text effects, I can go and I can change the stroke color. I could change anything about it. I could change, I can make like cool, like little effects on it. So let's even see like what that effect looks like where I could go in and I can go in and, um, you know, that's the stroke color, gradient color, shadow color, you know, so much stuff you can do. You could change the colors of things, the image of things, the shape, the background, the uploads, there's like so much you can do. It's just exciting. And you can actually change it all even from right here. You can go in and make it like, let's make that one like all red, just like that, like that logo that I have there. So watch, I'm gonna download a new one. Download PNG. I'm just gonna call this one Doggy Delight 2. Doggy Delight logo 2. And let's save that. And like literally in seconds, and I'm not even a graphic designer. That's what's crazy. You guys, I'm not even a graphic designer and I'm just, and, and I'm killing the game over here with designs because I'm using, I'm, I'm just, I'm leveraging tools that exist. So here's, let's get rid of this. So here's that design I just did, but maybe I don't like the way that it's like sitting on black and maybe my theme is black or whatever. So let's upload the new one I just did. Doggy Delight 2. 
Well, let's see what that one looks like. There you go, Doggy Delight. See that? And just like that, I got my Doggy Delight logo. It's so fun, so easy. So I'll delete this old one. Put that there, delete that one. Doggy Delight. So I just made a logo in seconds <clears throat> using this. So there's, there's programs out there that you can get your hands on. There's tons of stuff. I'll show you stuff. Don't worry about it. Dun, dun, dun. You guys want one more? You guys want to see how I cropped? You wanted to see how I made that transparent? Yeah, so depending on tools you have, you can literally just click and make transparent. I just went to this tool here. You know, there's, there's tools you can use to go make things transparent. This was just Lunapic. Lunapic transparency. Okay, so you can take, you can take pictures of like, you can take pictures of yourself or whatever, make them transparent, you know? Like you can go back, you can make this kind of stuff transparent. I, I did like on all these, if I go back to my pictures, like I made, see this image right here with me in the hat? But see how it's a golf course in the background? So what I did was I wanted one that wasn't a golf course in the background. So what I did was I basically grabbed a, uh, I, I, I used the tool. So I have one right here on the left, there's me right there. And then I grabbed the tool and I made one that was transparent. Like look at like the transparent dog right there. So you can just make these like little transparent dogs just by removing the background. Doggy delight, just like that. You got a little doggy, a little chihuahua for ads that I was running. And then here's a picture of me transparent. So I was able to cut out the background, you know, so you can go. See, that's the same picture of me right there without the, um, without the golf course behind me. So there I am, and there I am with the golf course right here. Or sorry, I just got rid of it, but I had the golf course behind me. You know, you can see it like right there. There I am with the golf course behind me, and there I am without it. So that's what you call making an image transparent, and you can do that by, um, by just Googling online. There's lots of tools. All right, you guys, I spent some time with you today. I'm here to help everybody succeed. Hopefully this was helpful. You guys, keep posting. Can you guys do me a favor? Can you post your screenshots here? Look at this. Go to the group. Go to um, the photo section and go to albums, okay? And there's an album called Testimonials, okay? Can you do me a favor? Can you guys post your, your testimonials here if you guys are making any money from your stores at all? Can you go into this testimonials album and can you press add photos and say something about it? Add a screenshot. Can you guys do me that favor real quick? Um, can you do me a favor? If you have made any sales from your Shopify store, can you take a screenshot and add your picture here, link below, along with a testimonial of how you are loving the challenge, okay? Uh, you know, basically just, just share so that you can inspire others to succeed too, okay? Share so you can inspire them to succeed as well. Okay, so again, you just, if, you look, if you need help finding this, you just go into the 90 day e-com challenge and we just created this album. You go over to photos, in the top, you go to photos, albums, and then click here for the, look for the testimonials album. And then you can add your, see this is gonna be easier because right now there's, there's hundreds of testimonials in the group, but you've gotta add them here. I don't, we, the, Facebook doesn't let us add your testimonials here, so you gotta add your testimonials here. Let's get, let's, get, let's get this folder right here filled with hundreds. Okay, that would be really, really helpful. Okay guys, hopefully you enjoyed the time. I had a blast hanging with you guys. I look forward to hearing your testimonials. Share with us in the group exactly how powerful this 90 day challenge has been. And when you ask questions, make sure that you ask the questions here. Don't ask them to Chris Record. You don't have to bother tagging me. I don't have time to answer everybody's questions. I'm too busy. Just go ahead and ask your questions to the group. Ask your questions to everybody else. It'll help so much more. Okay, I had a pleasure sharing with you guys. I look forward to catching you guys on the next 90-day um, challenge. Take care.